A number of the open water swims and triathlons, the management doesn't allow you to get in the water. So you come out on the edge, looking at the course, you've mapped out everything, and on some days and some courses, it's real cold, not here in Hawaii. And I've got Sean and Alyssa that are kind of warm at the moment. So what do we do? We can't get in the water, we need to do a warm up. And the three hot areas, or the three problem areas that don't need to be problems, are the shoulders, the thoracic spine, which is the middle part of your back, not your cervical or lumbar spine, and also your hips. And when we look at triathletes that have difficulty in those three areas, a lot of the athletes ironically have tight hip flexors, which pulls on the low back, and picking your head up in open water to look, all of a sudden they get out and they say, how are your shoulders? Feel great. How are your hip flexors? Bloody tight. So I want to go through a series of exercises with Alyssa and Sean just to kind of show you how we can kind of loosen up with a set of stretch cords and how we can do a few mobility stretching uh, movements to really get your blood flow going so you're ready to race. So this first one, we'll just take a, a wide position with our arms almost in a wide position. We're in <coughs> shoulder extension right now and uh, it's actually, officially shoulder flexion, but we're extending our arms over our head. We can kind of go side to side a little bit as we're going side to side. We start to feel this stretch down the big muscle down your side, the lats and also your serratus. And then we can increase this range of motion by crossing over with your foot behind you. So go ahead and cross over the foot behind. And as we do this, I want them to draw their belly in. So the belt line muscle called your transverse abdominis, that one stays pretty tight. And you can see they've stepped back with their right foot and they're listing to the left side. Squeeze that right glute a little bit. Now we can't see this on camera, but by squeezing that right glute, the back leg, that stretches that hip flexor and come back to your height of about your shoulder and down again, same side. And we can do several repetitions. My suggestion is that when you're doing this, that you do about 10 to 15 to each side. But let's go to the other side. So come back to center, let's shift to the other side, cross your other leg over, left foot back, and we're gonna come all the way down. And you can bring that hand all the way down to your thigh and bring it back up to your shoulder. And then down again, and tip, 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 squeeze that back foot glute. So your left glute is tight, and then we relax it, and it's a contraction relaxation contraction relaxation arms up over your head again let's reach up nice and high let's take that stretch cord and move it behind you and Alyssa is real hypermobile so I want people to stop where they feel the stretch cord just on your shoulder blades your scapula in the back and we're gonna take this movement first setting it up by having your hands supinated or facing the sky and as they go forward you're gonna rotate your palms down hands are gonna go together you can see they're really rounded that's called protracted and as are protracted and now coming back to a little bit of retraction as they come all the way back that allows that scapula your backbone to move around that rib cage which is really one of the keys in nice mobility on that freestyle swim so we go back and forth as we're doing this beautiful and it's a really nice stretch it feels fantastic as you're doing this very very nice okay and again some are 10 to 15 repetitions you can combine these in order once we've done this then we go to freestyle we replicate the freestyle motion and if you have a partner like sean and Alyssa, you can uh, tag team up on this or you can put this around a tree or a post and do a freestyle stroke and again we want to think freestyle you can actually put your breathing in this but let's just start by bending over arms out front hands high and we can just alternate our arms with a high elbow set just like on freestyle stroke and we start off slowly to begin with making sure our back and our shoulders are engaged and our core is nice and solid when we're doing this now we can bring up the speed of movement a little bit and don't worry about if you're not in synchrony because now you're having to stabilize your core and that's a good thing that requires a little more energy and what we're trying to do is warm up so we're going back and forth. 30 to 50 reps of this, you're, you're ready to go. It doesn't want to be a strength exercise where you're pre-fatiguing yourself. You just want to make sure you go through the specific muscular movement. Okay, let's relax and let's go ahead and come back together and let's ditch those cords. And let's just finish up with a little bit of hip mobility uh, motion. And when we do this, I really like the, the hip mobility and, the, and a little bit of stretching. So let's go ahead and spread your legs wide to start with. And we're gonna be very gentle when we come down. It's almost like we're 
hinging at the hips and bringing our hips back like we're in a, sitting on a stool. And as we come down, we're gonna stretch your adductors, good. And you can kind of go back and forth from left to right slowly. And you feel that stretch and you keep your butt down a little bit lower. And some of you are not gonna find that you have the range of motion that Sean and Alyssa has. And you can also crisscross your arms like this on your chest and put your hands here and just go back and forth. Now we feel this a little bit more in our adductors. Good, we won't do too many. Let's go ahead and shift with your left foot pointed forward, right foot turns nine degrees and it's pointed straight back. Go ahead and point that right foot straight back, Sean. There you go, good. And let's go and bring your hands down about to the height of your toes. So the heel of your hand lines up with, your t with the height of your toes. And now I want you to straighten out that back leg, your right leg, push your heel back a little bit so we stretch that Achilles cord. Bring your hips down lower, lower, lower. Squeeze that back leg, that's your right glute. And as we have that right leg back like that, we feel a beautiful stretch. And you can go either arm on this. So let's go ahead and just keep your inside arm, left arm down, right hand up in the air and stretch all the way up. We get thoracic spine rotation, and this is obviously exaggerating what we're gonna be doing when you're swinging freestyle. And now go ahead and bring that arm forward and stretch out like you're doing a really elongated freestyle. Beautiful, and come back to the arm over your head, stretch up real high, nice. And then come back down, hands back down, push your hips back down one more time. Let's externally rotate that left knee, let it go to the outside, push your hips down, and, and you can kind of govern the load on this. So we feel a beautiful stretch through your whole core. Obviously we feel this in your hip joint, that ball joint that you have in your hip, and this feels wonderful to start with. Okay, let's come back to center, go ahead and stand up and relax. Obviously we want to do this on both sides and a really nice easy warm-up that you can do and you can change the speed of movement but remember on the warm-up in the morning before all these swims, these open water swims or triathlons that you're doing, start off slowly. Don't do any bouncing or huge ballistic type stretching. Make it fluid, get your body temperature up, and Sean and, and uh, Alyssa are sweating nicely right now here in Hawaii, so they're well warmed up. I hope that helps.